Pasta fans around the world unite There's a podcast for you tonight With Gigi and Olivia Bow to hit you with some penny trivia So come on and listen in We're talking about pasta again it's the Pasta Podcast. Hello and welcome back to the Pasta Podcast where we talk about nothing but pasta. Today we will not be talking about pasta. Today we will be uh, talking about some movie theater hacks and whether or not they're right. I, of course, am a pasta chef. My name is Gigi. And what's your name, fellow pasta chef? My name is Pasta Chef Olivia. Everybody, welcome back to the cast. Um... So yeah, we, we're going to get right into this. As many of you may know, because we've said it many a times, me and Gigi are um, movie theater employees. We've worked at, I've worked at a movie theater for uh, six years now. Gigi's going on, yeah. what, three years? I am. Okay. So, um... So yeah, we're just going to get right into it. I've researched some. I found some on YouTube Shorts. I found some on Reddit and just on like Google in general. Yeah. All right. So how about we do like, I'll say when I found, you say when you found. Okay. Or we could just go down the list. You want to just go down the list? Yeah, let's just go down the list. That'll be easier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. You start. Oh, okay. Um, bringing your own bottle and getting a free be- beverage. Um, hack or whack? I say whack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, this is mostly because a lot of movie theaters have um, your own, their own uh, fountain drinks stand, like a McDonald's or something. And so... Um, they were like, oh, just bring a water bottle and if they ask and put Sprite in it. And if they ask, Sprite looks like water, so it'll work. And I was like, okay, first of all, this is taking advantage of the movie theater. Like, yeah, we make all our money from concessions. <laughs> <laughs> if you want us to make the theater nice and you want it to run smoothly, pay for your food. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, I, I will. I will fill it with, like, water. I think a few times I have just, like, filled it anyways with whatever soda. Um, But that was, like, a very occasional thing on those occasions. So, like, if you're you're really begging for it, I am definitely not going to give it to you. I will be able to tell if you actually want it or if you're like, hey, can you do this? Or, like, like, it's fine if you can't. Like, if you're chill about it, there's, like, a a non-zero chance that I'll do it. But if i can tell when you when you came to the movie theater and that was your only option was to try to get me to fill your your water bottle with sprite um so i won't do it then yeah it's just awkward for all of us don't do it (laughs) yeah novel idea just uh pay for your beverage (laughs) (laughs) um all right so next one moving on very quickly here um saying there was kids being loud at the theater and you get free tickets um does this work probably um (laughs) not gonna lie um but a lot of the times if we say to you or if you're if you've been if you've watched the whole movie because we check the time of your tickets and we check to like see if the movie's number one if the movie's over Number two, if you were meant to be here, <laughs> um, like if your tickets for the right theater and everything, but um, we're mostly like it's mostly just, and it doesn't. I don't think it'll work. I mean, this is our specific theater. It might be different in other theaters, but if you say there's kids being loud and your movie's over with, we're most likely not going to give you a refund because you watched the whole movie. If you exit halfway through your movie yeah we'll give you your like we'll give you a refund we'll give you your money back um 
we can do this thing called giving out reads, and that's kind of just if people are really mean to us. <laughs> and that's our kind of like get out of jail free card of like don't yell at me anymore, here's a riad. And it like lets you into like any movie at any time sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we'll give out those sometimes, but only in very extreme circumstances. Yeah, I think the thing about um, saying that there were kids loud in your theater, like even halfway through the movie, like especially halfway through the movie, if you're like, there were kids that were are being like loud in our theater, can we just like get a refund or something? Um, we'll do it but we'll also be like do you want us to like go in and like that we're gonna have to go in and take care of it so it's not a problem for other customers so if you're lying about it that just makes a whole big thing where we're like okay well we can't get you the i mean we can give you the refund since you're not going to finish the movie but if it's like almost the end of the movie and you come out like that we're not going to refund you for that you're just going to have wasted our time um so yeah, I mean, if you, if if that actually does happen to you, just let us know, and we'll give you a free ticket or a refund. But like, if that hasn't happened to you, you can't get a free ticket. I don't understand what you're. I don't understand the confusion about whether or not you can get a free ticket or not. If you think you warrant, if you warrant a free ticket, you can get one. Yeah, I I also want to make a point that um. I feel like there's a certain age capacity that comes with that complaint. Um, I've never seen a Gen Z kid complain that somebody was being too loud in a theater. I've seen many, many middle-aged people, many elderly people complain about that. I've never seen a younger person complain about that because younger people just, they just endure. I'm not, (laughs) I'm just saying that they just... They don't really care. They'll just sit through it. They're like, yeah, I'm talking to whatever. Um, so yeah, if you see that hack and you're like, oh, I'm going to try it. And I'm like, and I see like a younger person come up to me. I'm like, they're trying, they're trying to get their ticket back for free. Yeah. Cause I have had so many people complain to me saying that like, um, like I didn't like the movie. Can I get my money back? And I'm like, no, you watched the whole movie. No. <laughs> um, so yeah i just i if you're a kid i i won't i'm sorry i won't take you seriously (laughs) yeah um so that's settled um you can but um don't lie about it because we'll know (laughs) (laughs) okay um grabbing an old popcorn bucket from a trash can and getting a free refill um whack whack as hell i mean like okay here's the thing here's the worst thing about this is that if you like so if you do it in a certain way and i'm not gonna say what way because i don't want this to happen to anybody we will have to get you a new like bag and we will have to refill it for you but it's disgusting you shouldn't first off you shouldn't be digging through the trash um the b plot of that is some employee or other customer will see you digging through the trash um and then also the second point that i have to make is you're putting yourself and the person who touches that popcorn bag in a lot of medical danger if that person that held that bag before had something going on um and it's really disgusting to give away somebody else's germs and pass them off as your own (laughs) um so yeah don't do this um there have been times where i've wondered did this customer do this with this bag because it was disgusting and wrinkly and (laughs) had a small rip in the side and those are the times when i give it back to them with a refill but i keep the same bag i try to fit it all in the same bag so that i don't have to give them a new bag because that means you have to deal with the germs too you know um and also that's the reason why i always wash my hands after refills because i don't i don't want the chance you know (laughs) Yeah. Also, um, yeah, I've I've encountered a number of bags and I'm like, how did this person get to this point with this bag? There's no way. No, you don't. So just don't root through trash. That's an all around thing. Don't do it unless it's like packaged and nice and it's like wasted food or something like that. Don't go looking for a popcorn bag in there. That's gross. There's like gross stuff all over it. Anyways. Yeah, I think that it should. Yeah, I agree with Gigi. It's whack. <laughs> I think that it should be said <laughs> that um, 
like if you if you want like popcorn that's for a lower price just pop some at home like <laughs> like yeah. i know that like there are sneaking food and hacks and at our theater in particular we'll just be like hey just like throw it away don't don't leave it sitting out because you have to be responsible for your trash um i know that it's not like that at every theater but like you know a big purse <laughs> a big purse could work they won't give it the kid ripping your ticket will not be like oh my god i smell popcorn you know <laughs> and think that you're think to search your bag um but yeah if you if you have an issue well with this it, leads me into <laughs> yeah this leads me into our next point which is just sneaking food in in general and especially popcorn. Um, I know you said like, Oh, if it's too expensive, just sneaking your own. Um, but I disagree. If you're going to the movie theater, you're expecting to spend money because it's expensive. It's a luxury. It's not something, you know, you don't go flying planes for fun. You know, it's like, you're going to board a plane. You're expecting to spend money on boarding the plane. You go to a movie theater. You expect to spend money. It's, I mean, our tickets, have, they're like $13 now for like a general price for like our, and so that's a lot. Um, popcorn is like 10 bucks. You got to be ready. You got to be ready to spend that money. It's like a historical thing that movie theaters are expensive. Um, but sneaking food in for us we don't care. Um, and yeah, like Gigi said, like, just clean up after yourself. That's you should do that at every movie theater. Because if you think about it, we have our theater has 14 theaters. And there's usually around three ushers. So you do the math yourself. Like <laughs> They have to go into every individual theater. And some they have to repeat the same theater a few times. And it's a lot of stuff to clean up for three people. So please just do us a favor and clean up after yourself. There's literally trash cans everywhere. And they're meant for you. But, um, yeah, just, I don't think most movie theaters care if you sneak popcorn in. Or if you sneak any food in. Popcorn in, that's different. Because don't you want movie theater popcorn? Like, isn't that part of the experience? But... Yeah, I don't know. I would think I, think I would that. think that if you're sneaking any food in, I would prefer to like sneak candy in or something. But if I'm going to a movie theater, I'm already paying for the ticket. I'm gonna pay for some popcorn if I want some, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's just annoying. And I mean like go for it like bring in as much food as you want bring a full course meal for all i care i don't care but i just think it runs to the point of going to the movie theater like i get sneaking candy in um but i don't know it's like don't you isn't the part of the, going to the movie theater getting movie theater food like that's part of like the baseball experience is like when you go see be baseball you go and get food at the baseball park so I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think we've decided that uh, just just clean up after yourselves. <laughs> it's not that hard. Yeah. I promise. Please. Even if even if you're not sneaking in food, not that hard. Um, and mo moving on, the next one we have on the list is requesting a fresh batch of popcorn. And I have to say. This is both ha hack and whack in one because it really depends on when you're requesting it. Because if it's like, if it's really busy, we're probably popping continuously. It's going to all be fresh. So we'll probably tell you that. And it'll be true because you can see the popcorn <laughs> popper popping. <laughs> um, but if it's also, also if it's like really slow and we're kind of low on popcorn, there is a chance that we'll be like, yeah, I'll make another batch because like we could use it and it'll be easy. But if we're like, if we don't need any more right at that moment, I, I'm just going to tell you that it's pretty fresh. <laughs> like, I'm going to be like, oh, we popped it like 10 minutes ago, even if it's not true. And I'm sorry, but even if it's not true, I'm going to tell you that because I find it <laughs> annoying when people are like, how long ago did you pop that? I'm like, uh, recently, before you came in. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also one thing I want to add is that 
if you really want fresh popcorn, come to the first showing of the day because that's when we pop our popcorn. And um, and also like the best um, <laughs> movie theater um, employee certified by me and Gigi um, is that the best popcorn is the stuff that comes first out of the kettle. After it's popping, because that's the stuff that's the saltiest. It's the, it's got, it's collected the most oil on it. Um, yeah, because we always have, we have like this, um, we don't salt the popcorn afterward. I saw somebody say that. We don't do that. We salt it during. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's a whole process. Like we put the salt, like you could do it at home, but it it's just different because we have a kettle. And I think that's why. That's what differentiates movie theater popcorn with like microwave popcorn is that we have a kettle. We pop stuff like that's why when you go to Disneyland or when you go to like baseball games, they have a kettle there and that's how it tastes so good. It's made with a kettle. But um, yeah, we put salt in there with the stuff and we don't just have any salt. We have like this like f specifically made like movie theater popcorn salt that we use. I've never seen it at a store. I'm sure you could buy it online, but I've never seen it at a store um but that's what makes it so good and if you want the saltiest of the popcorn ask for the ask for the popcorn that comes directly out of the kettle if we have time if we don't have time you're not like no if there's like a line of people we're not getting no sorry <laughs> yeah this is this is what i mean by you have to ask at a certain point you know they're, we're only going to do this if the circumstances are just right. And the circumstances could change for other employees and for other theaters on what the perfect moment is for me. But the perfect moment for me to ask, like, if you wanted fresh popcorn um, is, like, if you don't have a showing for, like, 10 minutes, if that's when your showing starts, and we have time to pop more popcorn, and if we're, like... A little bit low on popcorn we could use it and then if you're like the only cu customer in there i'll just like hold the bag open beneath the popper and have the scooper on the other side that way i'm getting you all the fresh shit um it will burn your hands when i give it to you <laughs> by the way i don't know if people realize that when they're like no i want the fresh popcorn i want the hot popcorn it's like it hurts <laughs> it hurts to hold it <laughs> they don't realize that <laughs> It's really hot. Yeah. No, I know. And I like sometimes and this will happen on as a movie theater employee, you get burnt so much. You get burnt so much. And so um, <laughs> that's another thing that will burn you is fresh popcorn. So as if you ever see a worker getting you fresh popcorn and you hear them go, ah. <laughs> um, you know, just acknowledge that they went through pain to get you popcorn. <laughs> Because they have the popcorn popping on them and it's very hot. Yeah. The other thing about that is also, I don't know if anybody else goes through this, but sometimes the oil from like the outside of the machine will like drip down from the ceiling and it'll hit your hand and that shit hurts so much. And you, and like the first time it happens, you don't know what caused it <laughs> because you don't realize that that's what it was. Um, so you're just like, yo, a ghost hurt me because <laughs> I was making popcorn. <laughs> anyway, oh, the worst pain, the worst pain, Gigi, is accidentally hitting your arm against the kettle. Ooh, yeah, or like a knuckle. Sometimes I hit my knuckle against it, and it yeah. like it sucks because like there's nothing there. tangible. There's nothing tangible I can do about that. You know, <laughs> like I can I can run cool water under it, but it's not gonna help. <laughs> It'll help for the time being. <laughs> All right. Shall we move on? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Requesting unsalted popcorn. Um, don't do it. We're not going to make it. <laughs> um, this goes, this goes inside with, um, requesting a fresh batch of popcorn, like, if you're going to do this, make sure you do it at a really specific time or just don't do it at all. I've ever, I've only ever done this once for somebody and it was a pain in my butt. So um, I'm going to say don't do it. Um, 
we can't okay so we cannot salt the popcorn like it won't be salted um we just have to make sure like we set aside like a thing of uh kernels that aren't salted but then like there's still oil in there and the oil itself it kind of is kind of salty so you can't necessarily get unsalted popcorn and I think at that point, if you want unsalted popcorn, just pop your own because it'll just taste like the kind you have at home. Yeah. I think what people don't realize is that unsalted popcorn, like truly unsalted, would taste like nothing. Um, like you would feel the texture of the popcorn. Everybody knows what to- popcorn like tastes like and feels like in their mouth. Um, it would not taste like that. It would just feel <laughs> And if I wanted to eat something that had no flavor, I would just drink some water, you know? <laughs> like, the only, the only fun thing about it at that point is that it crunches. And I do like a good crunch, but I like it to taste well, too. <laughs> a good crunch, yeah. Uh, so, can we officially verify this one is whack? Whack. Whack. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Um, Moving on. Okay, next up. Discount days. And I will say, absolute, absolute heck. If your theater has any type of discount day, or if you don't know what it is, just like ask the person at the box office. Um, we have discount days at our theater on Wednesdays. And the, th- and the tickets, like right now the tickets normally are like uh, $11 for a matinee. But on Wednesdays, it's six fifty. That's half the price. I mean, okay, not exactly, but like, it's, it's crazy how good of a deal it is at this point. Um, and you will, you will, if you work at a movie theater that has these, get people that are like, I remember back in my day, this used to be the normal price. And you're like, shut the fuck up anyways. Um, (laughs) but yeah, if you, if you don't know what day it is, ask your local, uh, ask your local movie theater employee. They'll let you know if they have them. Um, and go on those days because it's six fifty all day at our theater, <laughs> and that's yeah, that's like a smacking deal. And I did see some other movie theaters. Um, you know, they also get discounts on popcorn, which is really cool. Um, Yo. Our personal movie theater doesn't get discounts on popcorn, um, so yeah just make sure you ask about it somebody will tell you no we don't or yes we do so um ask about discounts because movie theaters have them they know that they're expensive we know we're expensive so yeah most most discount days most movie theaters have discount days just make sure you check them out and they're usually if they're during the week they're not crowded Especially if they're um, during a school day, they're not going to be crowded. That's another hack that's not on the list, but um, best time to go to a movie theater is during the day on a weekday because only old farts come. That's the only time (laughs) anybody comes. Like We're standing around doing nothing all day, Um, and so that's the time to come is then. Don't come on weekends. Try to like take an hour off of work or something if you want to see a movie or if you're going to see a movie on the weekends make it a matinee don't make it an evening shift or evening shift evening movie (laughs) anytime before four is when it's the least crowded yeah um yeah i i do i will say that like i think some of the articles that i was reading that did say stuff about like discounts they were like they don't want you to know um we don't care if you know the reason we have them there is so that you know about them (laughs) i'm not gonna not tell you that we sell senior and child tickets or that we have discount days i'm gonna tell you about it (laughs) yeah it's like we don't and i i i want to assume this goes for all movie theaters we don't work on commission. We don't give a damn what you buy and what you don't buy. We don't care if you get a free ticket. We don't care if you accidentally bought a child ticket. Um, we don't care. Literally. <laughs> so what? You get a little bit of a deal. Um, my boss, personally, I <laughs> technically I'm Gigi's boss, but um, <laughs> the boss of my of me, he is also. Um, I don't care personally, but um, he he'll be like, "Oh, 
well, that means you're stealing. But doesn't everybody steal a little bit? Like, who cares? Yeah. A little stealing is, I mean, is moral. I mean, what? How else? How else would every employee get water at this point? Our water, our water, like running water, <laughs> sucks. So a lot of employees will just take water bottles, and I'm not saying that that happens a lot, but what I am saying is I don't see anybody else drink water not out of a water bottle. <laughs> so when I get water at um, the theater, I go also Olivia seen- I'm having water, and I and then I show I show her my lemonade. <laughs> well that's another thing is that weirdly enough i think that okay so we clean the soda spigots every night so get that off your hand get that off your head right now that we don't we do we clean it every (laughs) night um i hope that other movie theaters can relate um but sometimes and i learned this from somebody who worked at another movie theater um but sometimes our water has chunks of dried coke in it not like chunks, but like little tiny little like tiny little black dots. And you'll be like, what the heck is that black dot? That looks like something like disgusting. And it's just like a little bit of dried Coke, I guess. So that doesn't, I mean, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But, um, or it's just like a dried soda. So um, what I like to do is I like to let the water run for a little bit before I, if I'm going to use the tap water. Otherwise, try not to use, like, if you're really thirsty, that's different. If you want a cup of water, that's different. But um, if you're going to get water, water, you don't, don't get, like, a huge cup from the, from the um, fountain. Just buy a bottle of water. That's the cleaner. <laughs> yeah. Um, moving on. It's funny how cleaner our soda streams are than the water streams. Yes, moving on. (laughs) Um, It's your turn to say the thing. Oh, sorry. Uh, Trash and recycling bins go to the same place. They absolutely do not. We have a recycling bin and a trash bin. Case closed. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't know where this came from. I mean, like, listen, to the public, I think we only have trash cans at our theater to the public, but we do have a recycling bin for like wine bottles and pa- paper. I don't I don't know what else we put in recycling or but things right now. My head's not working. But we do have a recycling thing back there and we don't we wouldn't have it for show <laughs> if we weren't going to recycle. <laughs> I will say that some employees throw away things that are recyclable, but that's that's not my business, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it's just like other theaters have like recycling bins and trash bins. Um, I don't know how true it is for them. Like I said, we can't speak for all movie theaters. Um, but if you ever just get confused, drive by the trash, drive by the movie theater on trash day and see if they got two different (laughs) things out there. And if they do, then that's a good thing. (laughs) So we also have a compost, which not, that's not talked about a lot is that we don't throw away our popcorn at the end of the night. We compost it. So I think that's slightly better than trash. At least it's going back to where it came from. Um, so yeah, moving on. Mm-hmm. Uh, wearing an undershirt under a flannel so you can sneak into another movie. Now, I saw one of these. This one was on Reddit. <laughs> so just let it be known so that this stupid. man is a Redditor who does this. Um, and I think that this one is the most whack on, on this list. <laughs> because um you still can see your face like this isn't even like he's not even saying like oh wear a hoodie and then like take it off he's saying you wear a different shirt you're a different person man (laughs) like i'm sorry i will be able to see your receded hairline and go that's the same guy (laughs) i also want to make a point as to we check your tickets (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like you're what you're wearing i will forget everything you're wearing i will i will think you came in naked and i will be like 
oh, but yeah, he was going in to see that movie. Or not even that. I will, like, you'll still have your ticket. Like, just, like, I can check your ticket. That's what we do if we kick people out is we check their tickets. That's the first thing we do. So, you ain't slick. And and the thing is, is the (laughs) only way that I can see this working is if you're at a theater for the blind. Or (laughs) if you're relying solely on the cameras not recognizing that you're the same person. Because, yeah, if I saw you in, like, a shitty CCTV video, I would be like, that's probably a different person. But that's because I can't see your face very clearly. But I'm, like, standing right in front of you for both of these interactions. I would be able to tell (laughs) that you're the exact same person. God, people are so stupid. It's stupid. (laughs) All right. Shall we move on? Can we confirm that's whack? Oh, yeah. That's whack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, buy one morning showing and just sneak into other showings. Um, yeah. And then there's a little note that says this is straight up movie hopping. Yeah, that's what movie hopping is. Um, you, this only works if you go to a theater that doesn't have assigned seating. If you go to a theater that has assigned seating, this won't work because most likely especially if you're in a popular if it's popular you know and it's really busy you're gonna go and sit in someone's seat and then they're gonna be like you're sitting in my seat then you're gonna be like no i'm not i bought this ticket and then they're like no you didn't this is my ticket i'm sitting there and then you'll have to go and get a manager and that's then you're just gonna rat yourself out so no don't do this um if you want to movie hop during a matinee showing um, still don't do it because workers literally have nothing to do, so they will be watching you. <laughs> and that's just going to yeah, be awkward I don't think, when they see you go into the wrong theater. I don't think people realize that uh, theater employees, when we're like really slow, we love some drama. So if we think that somebody's sneaking in, we're going to immediately be like, oh my god, what theater was he going to? What, where is he sitting? What theater is he going into now? You know, we're going to we're gonna be on you 24-7. So it doesn't matter if we're busy or not busy, we're still going to catch you eventually. <laughs> um, especially and like... Also, I, I do want to make a point. I do want to make a point really quick. <laughs> is that um, we have cameras... We can see you. Yeah, we we can see you. Um, I I think that's silly that people forget that we have cameras, or they think that we don't watch them with like, which like, um, I'm not a manager, so I can't say whether or not we do. But I know that you guys watch them enough that you guys still like catch people sneaking in that I never noticed, you know. So I know that you guys check them at least a couple times <laughs> during the night. Um. Well- yeah, we mostly check the ones that shows people sneaking in. Like, there's one that shows the exit door, which is very popular spot to sneak someone in. So we're looking at that one a lot. Um, we're also, like, just, like, there's one of people we can see, like, down the hall. And so we can see if people are, like, leaving a theater and going into another one. We'll be like, that's us. Gotta go. You know? So... We don't watch them with that much intent because other times we'll be busy. But if we're bored, I will just at times I will just be sitting there staring at the cameras <laughs> with nothing to do. So, yeah. All right. Um, let's see what the next one is. I um, keep thinking it's like asking- coming back, but it's not. <laughs> um. Asking for no butter on popcorn and bringing your own melted butter. Um, I think that this one is actually kind of a heck. If like, if you really, I don't personally, I don't taste that much of a difference between real butter and like the soybean oil that we put on the popcorn, which I think is what every theater puts on it. So if you're like wondering, um, that's what we put on the popcorn. It's oil. It's not butter. Yes. Also, um, coconut oil i've seen that be a very popular thing is they it's it's most likely oil because that's easy to melt yeah um but anyways i do think that this one is actually kind of a hack if you're really like i need real butter 
um we can just like not butter the popcorn we won't i think people automatically assume that we butter the popcorn (laughs) um but if your theater doesn't ask you you could tell them not to butter it and if they ask you you say no (laughs) um it's as simple as that exactly i do know that there's like like at amc don't they have little stands where you can butter it yourself that's where i see all the people doing the the straw hack to get it all the way to the bottom which um i mean like yeah that works but you're just gonna have a pool of butter at the bottom i'm sorry you're gonna have a pool no that's what i think <laughs> like every time i see that i'm like so you're just gonna like fill the bottom up with butter <laughs> what <laughs> Like, are we buttering throughout or not? Because I think the point is to butter throughout. But they know that the they know that the straw doesn't have little holes on the side, right? To like even it out, it only goes to the bottom. Yo, they should. It is a tool that it's water water through one hole. It doesn't it doesn't go? It doesn't immediately know that you're using it to butter popcorn and go. I need a layer myself. (laughs) one thing i did see one time and i think you were there too is that um one guy asked us if we could fill it up halfway and then give it to him and then he would add his own butter and then we would fill up the rest and he had made like this special butter it was like this garlic butter and it i couldn't tell if it smelled really bad or really good um but it was like in this thermos and he was like yeah i melt my own butter (laughs) isn't um that's completely fine and you can totally do that you can have them fill it up halfway and fill the rest um i'm actually sure like i feel like amc would do that for you i feel like you could say can you fill it up halfway i'm gonna go butter it and then bring it back to you because we do that with salt a lot of the times is fill it up halfway then fill the rest so just ask if they say no they say no (laughs) yeah i mean you know what they say, there's no harm in asking. I've heard that said to me so many times at the theater. I don't know if you get that one too. <laughs> but sometimes they say that and I'm like, I, I always go, yeah, because usually like it's nothing like wrong with what they said. But I'm like, dude, you don't have to say that. I'm already giving you what you want. <laughs> exactly. All right. Um, hack? Hack. Hack. Bring your own butter. All right, moving on. Anyways. Okay, so (laughs) coming 10 minutes late to your movie to skip trailers. This is either, actually, I don't think this is a hack at all. Um, Come early to your movie. Um, If there's a problem, if um, if there's a long line at concessions, you don't know. Uh, If you want to get to concessions and buy food before you get to your movie, then I would get there early. Um, Also, 10 minutes. I don't know how different theaters work. Our tickets are available for up to 30 minutes after the showing has started. So um, depending on how late you come, there may not be they may not be able to sell you tickets. So just make sure you pay attention to that. And I'm sure if you ask an employee, they'll tell you how late you can buy the tickets. But um, it's also just like a bad idea in general. Because, okay, so the other day there was this couple came in and they were late to their movies. So they were already rushing. They tried to print up their tickets and it wasn't working for them. So I just let them in on the QR code, which was not a good idea. Because I checked our little sheet um because we have a sheet on the door stand that shows like all all the showings of the day in which theater they're in and our sheet i didn't realize it at the time but it was wrong and so um that's not good so i sent them to the wrong theater by accident because i asked them what time their movie was at and so i associated the time of the movie with the theater and since that sheet was old, I sent them to the wrong theater. And so they came back. They had a whole ordeal. They complained. I told them it was my fault, you know, giving their money back, whatever. But if they had came early, printed up their tickets, then they would have been fine. That problem would have never happened. So um, all in all, make it easier for yourself. Come early. If you have to watch the trailers, who cares? Go on your phone. 
Yeah, I don't I don't see what people's problems with watching the trailers is because I feel like it gives you <laughs> it gives you time to like sit and relax. Cuz I don't know if it's just me, but I get like a, a intense anxiety when I go to the theater, even like even like not even if I'm not like oh, I work here, you know? <laughs> um because like once you get all your stuff and you sit down, you're like ah, ah I got to cool down, you know? <laughs> There's too much interaction that I just had to do. So it gives me a second for my <laughs> mind to turn off, especially because sometimes they have silly little ads. You know, you sit in there and you're like, I got nothing better to do. I'll watch the previews. And sometimes the previews are so goddamn silly for no reason. And it gives your mind something to do <laughs> and it makes you a little entertained. Um, but yeah, just come early to your movies. It, if you if you get there and you get your popcorn and there's still like ten minutes until the previews are done, you can sit on the bench outside your theater or something if you're really that bothered by them. Well, and if you are really like that, like you really don't like the previews, um, get there early, go there, and get go and get your food while the previews are going. That way you get to like multitask, go and get your food. And most likely if your movie's already started and there was a rush of movies that started at the same time, it won't be busy at concessions anymore. So just a thought. Yeah. All right. Mo- moving on. <laughs> um, sometimes the theater will save leftover popcorn for the next day. And I put in brackets, ew, who came up with that? Because that's that's the most whack thing I've ever heard. Um, listen, I can't speak for every theater, but we don't do that. Um, also, you would be able to tell. These people have never had stale popcorn in their life, obviously. Because sometimes I come home, because we do throw out the popcorn at the end of the night. So sometimes at the end of the night, employees will take the popcorn before we throw it all, all out. Because it'll be, you know, going to waste in the compost anyways. Um so sometimes I bring it home and I save it for the next day and it's a little bit stale and you can tell. So like, mm-hmm. listen, I don't, I don't think that, I don't think these people know what stale popcorn tastes like. <laughs> um, if you truly think that we would leave it in there all night, um, y- you can tell that we don't because um, if the theater has been lo- open long enough to get a health inspection, they would have been closed down immediately for doing that. Cause that's disgusting. And that can be a health issue. Um, so yeah, we don't do that. And also where would, where would they, where would they store it? Because if you store it out in the open, it will get stale really fast. Um, so I don't know where they would store that a lot of popcorn. Um, but yeah, I have had a complaint before that the popcorn was stale and I was like, ma'am, it is most like, it is absolutely not stale. We've, we pop this popcorn a day. <laughs> it is not stale. <laughs> so if you think that it's stale, maybe the word you were looking for was crunchy and cold, which is what happens to popcorn when you've left it for 10 minutes. <laughs> it gets cold. <laughs> and honestly, I don't know what people's problem with not hot popcorn is. It tastes exactly the same. <laughs> Anyways. Whack. All right. Um, <laughs> Moving on. Whack. <laughs> Moving on. So, uh, the next one is the reason popcorn smells good is we, because we put chemicals in it. <laughs> Olivia, this was a genuine, a genuine thing that I read. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Um, no. <laughs> Who comes up with this? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, so... We we talk about that a little bit more. What? So the reason that they said our popcorn smells good is because every it said quote unquote every theater has a different secret. Um no. <laughs> First off, no. Um but it was something like they use a mix of chemicals in order to make the popcorn smell and taste better. And I'm sitting here like you mean the oil that we use to make the popper go and the salt that we put on the kettle, the corn? Because that's that's all there is. <laughs> the reason the reason it smells so good is because you didn't make it. <laughs> you know when you go over to somebody's house and they make you a nice meal 
And if you had cooked it, it would have smelled the same, but it would have been different, you know? But they cooked the same thing for you, but you they cooked it for you, you know? And it's like a luxury experience, so it smells good. Um, that's the reason why popcorn smells better at the theater. <laughs> it's because of the experience you're having. <laughs> well, and I don't know, it might be a mixture of our salt and our oil, but um, I do agree. I think the popcorn smells great at the theater. I always have. Um, but I also think if you make popcorn at home, it smells good, too. Um, I don't know who created chemicals um the only chemicals in our popcorn is like maybe in the salt that's all i can think of but that's probably just like food coloring (laughs) so (laughs) whatever yeah um whack we don't we don't do that (laughs) um we don't do that and that would be too complicated so i don't know why people think we put that much effort into it (laughs) anyways (laughs) um this is the last one so, um, it's not worth complaining to the sca- staff about how you didn't like the movie because there's nothing they can do about it. Correct. <laughs> this one was less of a hack. <laughs> I started going into like little secrets. And one of the things on this list of secrets was like, stop complaining to your staff <laughs> about how you didn't like the movie. They can't do anything about it. If you stay through the whole movie, we can't refund you for that experience. You took, you, you used the money to have that experience whether you liked it or not if you walk out halfway through yeah we'll give you your money back like if the movie hasn't ended then we'll give you the money back but like if you if you didn't like the movie but you stayed the entire time i got news for you the transaction we just had wasn't in in the (laughs) with the prerequisite that you had to like the movie or we give you your money um, it was with the fact that you finish the movie, we keep the money. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think that I always compare that to like eating a whole meal and then saying you didn't like it after you ate the whole thing. It's like, well, you already ate it. So, you know, it's like there's nothing we can do. Um, now, it's different if you're old, you're bored, and you have no life, and you need somebody to talk to, and you go up to a movie theater employee who is obviously not interested in you and is just trying to get their job done. Um, but you start talking to them, and, they're, and you're like, I'm not sure about that one. And they're like, okay. And also, huge misconception is that all movie theater employees have seen all the movies. No, we haven't. <laughs> I don't want to watch half the movies yeah. that come out. I don't want to watch this. I literally, I, me and Gigi always get a comment of, I don't know, uh, which movie should I see? Which ones are good? And me and Gigi will always be like, I don't know. <laughs> if there's like a movie we have seen that was out, we'll suggest that one. Because it's the only movie we've seen that's out. I've never seen two <laughs> movies that have been out at the same time. I've never um working at a movie theater you don't want to spend more time there than you have to yeah i think that people are like but you get the movies for free and it's like yeah but um it's not it doesn't necessarily mean i want to go and see all of the movies um because like yeah if i get if i told you pick any of these movies that are out right now and even if you don't like them um maybe you would pick one because I would let you in for free. But that's because you don't work there. <laughs> and that's because you would be getting an exclusive one of a, one at a time. Like once in a lifetime experience. By going to see a movie for free. Even if you weren't interested in any of them. But I always have that option. <laughs> so it's just like going to the theater for me. If you don't, if you don't want to watch a movie. You don't go to the theater to watch it. Um, so most of the time I've seen none of the movies that we have out. Um, And also most of the time, if I do see a movie that we had out, it was like one that we had out months ago and is no longer playing. (laughs) Cause I wait for it to come on streaming. Cause I don't, I don't want to watch it at the theater. But yeah. Yeah. Um, (laughs) um, I did want to shoot. What was I going to address? I was going to address something. Um. Oh yeah, one thing we do like is um, I, it might just be me, but um, if 
you're talking to an employee at concessions and you're like, um, ask them for a suggestion on what kind of candy you should get, what kind of oven item you should get, or like what kind of icy or soda you should get. An employee will always tell you a suggestion. They love having, I don't know if it's just me. I love giving my own peace of mind. I think that's like, I love that somebody else like likes my own decision. Like somebody, um, like a few times I get somebody asking like, what candy would you recommend? And normally I'll just like, I either recommend my favorite one or like the most popular. And most popular is Nerds, Nerds Gummy Clusters. So I'll either recommend those or I'll recommend a Kit Kat or something. Or I'll ask them like, do you like chocolate? Do you like more fruity kind of things? And then I'll give them a suggestion on that. I love giving my own two piece. I give them, or like if it's an icy flavor they recommend, I give them all three. Because I think that's that's just exciting. <laughs> yeah. I do I do like giving my own like opinion if they're like, hey, what what food item do you like? I'll be like, I love our pretzels because I do love our pretzels. I think that they're really good. Um, you can't really fuck up a pretzel. Actually, that's a lie. You can. Um, I've had very many fucked up pretzels in my life, but not at not at our theater, <laughs> luckily. Um, but, you know, it's just it's just dough and it's just comforting to eat. Um and sometimes, sometimes people ask me like a follow up question about the pretzels. They'll be like, um, after I ask them if they want cheese, they'll be like, "Is it extra?" I'll be like, "Why would I, why would I offer it to you if I if it was going to be extra? <laughs> that's part of the di- that's part of the experience, whether you want it or not. That's something that we offer." <laughs> also, the same thing for uh, nachos with the jalapenos. They'll be like, "Is it extra?" I'm like, why would that? <laughs> Why would I pay you, make you pay extra yeah. for that? Yeah, exactly. Anyways. Anyways, shall we wrap this thing up? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Pasta Fam, for joining us tonight on the Pasta Podcast. We've had a lot of fun with you sharing our secrets and hacks and our nonsense. We hope to see you soon. We love you. We miss you. We hope you eat some good pasta soon. All right, everybody, have a good night. Just take it out, Kyle. Pasta la pista. I wouldn't want to be you, so I'll see you later. Alfredo alligator. I'm gonna hit the road, you totally be toad and uh, out of here and grab Sailing tiny elephant is about the time Oh, rigatoni rhino The world of pasta so fast But it's the end of the cat